It's a struggle of our time. Human nature versus mother nature. Will we ever understand that nature will outlast us, no matter what? What seems like some kind of landscape garden is actually what is left of a power plant once filled with machines and technical equipment. 50 years ago this art deco structure somewhere in Italy was abandoned. And today mother nature is reclaiming what is hers. In this video we descend into the underground. The old power plant is located deep under a massive industrial facility. We take you with us when we try to find a way down here. We search for what men left long ago and research the history of the forgotten plant. Join us as we explore the huge compound and make several unexpected discoveries. Welcome to yet another strange world devoid of humanity we found during our Italy road trip this summer. For updates and photos of our adventures, follow us on social media. Was siehst du da? Gestripp. Das wird äh, noch dichter als gerade. Ich fand es jetzt schon ziemlich dicht. This time we are trespassing an industrial area that has been abandoned for decades. And when man is gone, nature is taking over. Es fängt an zu regnen. Vielleicht hätten wir uns was langärmliches anziehen sollen. Wir brauchen da irgendwas zum Durchboxen hier. <lacht> Stuhl zum Beispiel. Wir haben schon übel zerstochen jetzt. Jo. Na, willst du vorausgehen? Apparently we are the first to take this path in a long time. You literally can't move without getting prickled all over by thorns. You know what they say. Bad weeds grow tall. And these weeds are huge. Fast geschafft. Wie geht's dann weiter, Tobi? Na, jetzt müssen wir gleich ein Treppenhaus suchen und da gehen wir so fünf Stück weit hier nach unten. Und dann noch ein bisschen über das Gelände laufen bis zu dem unterirdischen Turbinen. Large old halls like this one can be found everywhere on the compound. But the one we are searching for is still a long way off. Seht ihr, das hier unterirdisch, das hier ist die Halle, da wo das ganze Dach eingestürzt ist und das ist alles unterirdisch, aber Licht haben wir auf jeden Fall nicht. Dann jetzt auf jeden Fall we decided to go on the weekend, because not every building here is vacant anymore. So we have to watch out, because there might be security patrolling somewhere. Ja. Falls wir rennen müssen, oder? Jo. There it is. The remains of a hydroelectric plant hidden on the ground. And we reached it just in time. Okay, vier Kilometer nach der alten Faustregel. Ja, es kommt auf jeden Fall hier. Let's get in and explore.
This derelict structure is a time capsule, but also a view into our future at the same time. Since it has been abandoned for almost half a century already, it allows us to look ahead 50 years after man. And that is exactly why we wanted to come here, to see the world after us. How do you feel when you see this? Is it alarming that the world after people could look like this? Or is it maybe even comforting for you? it is soothing to see this. Due to its past, this industrial area is contaminated and thus an environmental time bomb. And yet, surprisingly, it is no dead zone. Plants are growing where machines were operating decades ago. This used to be one of the most unnatural places you can think of. And only 50 years later, it basically became nature itself. After having a taste of the future, let's now look into this place's past. As mentioned before, it's a former power plant. The building is shaped like the letter V. So it has two wings and this is the left one. Here you see the right hall. Both combined in this art deco structure, which is the control unit or at least what is left of it. looked like this. Much has happened since then, but this is how it was constructed in the early 20th century. In the area where it's located, there are strong currents, which are perfect to build a hydroelectric plant in. It was used to power a factory for chemical substances. It needed a lot of electricity since it was a huge mill. Back in its heyday, the industrial area looked like this. Here is the power plant and most parts of it were underground for a good reason. This is the layout which makes it easier to understand. The power plant was built at the foot of a mountain, you can see on the right, and on the left there is the river with strong currents. Often such underground plants form part of pumped storage hydroelectricity schemes, whose function is to level the electrical load. They use cheap or surplus off-peak power to pump water from a lower water source to an upper lake. During peak periods when electricity prices are often high, the power station generates power from the water held in the upper lake. But with World War II, it all started to change. The industrial facility was heavily damaged by bombs, and bottlenecks resulted in reducing the production. But the factory remained in operation until its closure in the 70s, when there was no demand for it anymore. And with it, also the power plant has been left to decay. Now the only people who came here were copper thieves. Because at first there was no security protecting the property. And so they took what remained of the equipment and left behind an empty shell of an industrial monument. Alles voller Spindeln. Oh, 
nicht gedacht, dass es äh, hier noch so weit weitergeht. Hier ist ein ganz schön großes Netzwerk an Gängen. Ich werde jetzt schon kein Dunst mehr, wie wir zurückkommen. Die Wurzeln von den Pflanzen, die haben sich hier inzwischen überall ausgebreitet. An den ganzen Wänden sind die Wurzeln bereits runtergewachsen. Das sind Wurzeln. Das ist aus wie bei Stranger Things. Hier entsteht soeben ein BBT-Foto. Here are some of the pictures from that exploration. We upload urbex photography regularly to our Instagram and Facebook. You can also access high resolution images if you support us on Patreon, by the way. All the links are in the video description. There you also find the Instagram of our guide Toby, if you want to see even more stills. We are all working together on another Urbex calendar for 2021. Let us know if you would be interested in one for yourself or as a present. After investigating the tunnels below the underground power plant, we now want to find out what else is there to explore. Was erwartet uns jetzt hier noch auf dem Gelände, Tobi? Äh, noch eine zweite Turbinenhalle. Die schaut ganz anders aus, also viel moderner. Und hat doch nicht, hat eigentlich keinen Verfall. Also das, komplette Fall, ja, das komplette Gegenteil. Ja, das komplette Gegenteil. Jetzt müssen wir aber erstmal finden, weil ich weiß nicht mehr genau, wo die waren. Indeed, it's the complete opposite of what we've seen before. No rain, but sunlight. Not that much decay, instead vintage equipment. We thought it would be another turbine hall, but we were wrong. This was part of the electrochemical plant, so no electricity was generated here. And this equipment was used for nitrogen production and most of the machines remain in the hall until this very date. Let's call it a museum. Wenn wir in so einem Lost Place unterwegs sind, in so einer Industriebrache, dann tritt in der Regel sofort andachtsvolle Stille ein. Entweder weil wir alle einfach so sehr überwältigt sind oder weil jeder mit sich selbst beschäftigt ist erstmal. Oder in der Regel beides. Ich habe kurz gedacht, hier ist ein Loch im Boden. Das sieht schon so aus, oder? Nicht nur der Einzige. Ich 
Feierabend. Ja. Ja, eigentlich wollten wir gerade, wir wollten gerade runter von dem Gelände und haben noch mal in eine Halle reingeschaut. Das ist eine Filmkulisse, die hier steht. Das sind wahrscheinlich Kulissen von mehreren Filmen. Jetzt brauchen wir Leute, die Filme gesehen haben und hier Sachen erkennen. Und erkennen und uns sagen können, aus welchen Filmen das ist. Ja, aus welchen Filmen sind diese Requisiten? steht, ist die Halle auch einfach utopisch groß. So wie es aussieht, ist das hier der letzte Nutzen von diesem alten Kraftwerk. Abstellfläche für Filmrequisiten. Ja, gut, aber die Frage ist auch, ob die Filmrequisiten nochmal verwendet werden. Außer die Filmrequisite soll natürlich ein sehr kaputtes Haus darstellen. Hier wurde ein Filmset aufgebaut und hinter den Kulissen das zurückgebaute Kraftwerk. Ja. Das soll ein Hai sein. Es gibt einen Film, wo ein Schorke ist und der hat ein U-Boot und das ist aus ein Hai. Kann auch ein U-Boot sein. Ne? Ja, weil guck mal, das ist doch eindeutig diesen metall oder? Das ist ja nur die Hälfte von ihm. Ja, genau. The premises look quite a bit like how we imagine film studios to be in Hollywood. Well, apart from all the derelict buildings, of course. Only a small part of the former industrial facility has been renovated. Most of it is still raw and how it was constructed more than 100 years ago, such as the old hydropower plant. This wasteland is shaped by grand, imposing structures made of ferro-concrete and bricks. And yet it was this small and more hidden building that impressed us the most with a glance at the past and at the future. The other houses here are either falling apart as well or gradually find new purposes as warehouses or offices. Due to the heavy production of chemical substances, for such a long period, the site will be contaminated until further notice. And with it, one of the most important industrial monuments in this part of Italy remains forgotten. Day two of our road trip is over and we still have a long ride ahead. The next morning we wake up somewhere off the road, but very close to another place that vanished into oblivion. This is probably the oldest structure we've ever explored. It's an ancient temple that has sunken into the ground over time. Today a spring emerges right in the middle of it, which also makes it one of the most magical places we've ever explored. But more of that in the next episode. Are you interested in one of our new urbex calendars? If you like our photography, you can also order prints by the way. Just contact us via email or on social media. We'll be back with a new video in two weeks. Be safe, but keep exploring. <laughs>